All right, I got one Bardiche, an HVAT, two NPTs. Three NPTs. <laughs> Destroy everything now. Kill them all. Back up, back up, back up. Lots of tanks, lots of tanks. Back up, back up. Yeah, push this. Forward, forward this guy. Forward this guy. Don't you kill? Don't you kill that? Don't you kill it? Don't you do? Don't you do it? Don't you do it? I. You will kill me before you kill that fuel tank. After two days of brutal back and forth fighting across Lost Arkel and Planifada, holding the line against endless storm cannon fire and highly effective colonial partisan attacks, which could now easily destroy equipment and intercept our Lodgy vehicles due to the huge cratered gaps in our lines, the Royal Spuds finally had a moment of reprieve. Our hold on the eastern flank had allowed the fighting in Endless Shore to break through south into Alad's Bight. While we had taken vacations out west to see the bulwark over in Westgate and the breach in the Heartlands, Scurvyshire in Alad's was actually the end point of the wall, with a large crumbling hole that was blown apart from when the Colonials first attacked years ago. It was an odd feeling being able to go so far from your front line to see a wall, only to then, weeks later, come back and see that you had finally advanced so far that you could see that very wall yourself. We had made significant progress, but there was still a long way to go, and as important as the frontline refinery was in Fairmoor out west, Scurvyshire was probably just as important for us over in the east. With a refinery, one salvage field, two salvage mines, and an oil well all north of the bulwark, massive amounts of material can now be secured and turned into either straight BMATs for construction and local repairs, or quickly shipped up north to the factories at Saltbrook Channel, or perhaps the newly captured town of the Baths, which had a factory, construction yard, and a seaport of its own. After two weeks of partial encirclement and even hours of complete encirclement, the Baths had finally fallen to the Wardens, and it had taken a massive toll as well. With over 224,000 Warden casualties, it was one of the bloodiest fronts in the war so far, and for good reason. The Baths is an incredibly important logistics hub, and although it didn't have much in the way of factories or refineries itself, all of the Warden waterways were now connected, allowing shipping to travel from one region to another completely by water. Not only was this great for our logistics, but partisans, gunboats, and even landing ships now had a central staging area to allow them to strike pretty much anywhere in the colonial lines that they wanted. For the Spuds, it allowed us to move a significant portion of our material down as well, and up until now, all Spudcations out of Godcross were fairly limited in scope due to not not having our own logistics support. With the Bass, we can now move material in advance and easily stage operations without first spending hours transferring over everything in slow moving flatbeds. This greatly increased our combat effectiveness, and after taking a peek at the frontline refinery in Scurvyshire and hearing of a large operation soon to kick off in order to push towards the victory point of Mercy's Wish, we set our sights on a target in Shackled Chasm to help out our southwestern flank. With Drown Veiled fully secured, Shackled had received constant attacks over the past 24 hours, and many of the colonial bases had already been destroyed or heavily damaged, and we thought that the best strategy would be to try and secure the border region of First March. After scouting the defenses, we navigated a minefield and blew apart the relic. Obviously not a high priority for the Collies, since much more important towns were currently under siege, but it was crucial for us to take out nonetheless, since it would allow future advances into Mercy's an easily accessible route to partisan and intercept enemy vehicles. Just as we were finishing up some basic defenses and bunkers and preparing to join the main effort into Alods, Colonials had been spotted destroying defenses back home in Anchor Beach, a huge weak point for us since the relic was so close to the Tempest Island border. Soon, what was originally a simple request for some support had turned and snowballed into an invasion of our own, and I had found myself in a heavy tank destroyer as we pushed into Alchemio Estate. Alright, I got one Bardiche, an HVAT, two NPTs. Three NPTs. Two light tank, they're pushing up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for them. Yeah, peek, peek now, peek now. Yo, trap, yeah. Good shot, good shot. Bounce. They're backing off, they're backing off. 
That one tracked us. Yeah, got it. We're good. Yo, yo! Enemy, enemy backside, backside. Yo, we need infantry on the left side, guys. Bardiche, left side, side armor. Push us a little bit. Yeah, hit the rear of them. Yeah, they're spotting like the road, he's on the road. west side of Anchor Beach, so hopefully they won't shoot us. He's smoking, us. he's smoking. That one, he died. Nice. Uh, this Bardish's side nice. armor if we push up a second. Watch out. Yo, that Bardish's that side armor. Side armor on the uh, southwest side. Side armor, side armor. Yo, go up with the silver hand. Take a shot. There you go. There you go. Yeah, kill this guy. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Showing his ass to us. Yeah, where are we all at? Up, 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 up. Back up, back up now, back up now. Here, here, here. Ah, we needed the other tank here. Yeah, what do we need to uh, happen, guys? Yeah, we need people to be brave. Yeah. Right? If we both pull down, we be brave. Yo, LTD, Southwest. LTD, Southwest, coming across on the tilt. Side armor. Reverse, reverse, reverse. MPT, MPT. That one hit, that one hit. Got him, got him, got him. Yuki! Yep, thank you. Extreme, check. Yuki! Ooh, that was close. Dude, they almost just pinched us right there. Yeah, infantry, if you guys can clear these trenches, we can move up. They got ATRs. Yo, there you go, Fractured. Yeah, take that. Yo, left side down the road. Left side down the road. Back up, back up a bit. Get out of his range. Yeah, I got a shot into his turret. The hell is that? They have a captured. Oh, they got a captured one. Yeah, they got a captured uh, widow. Watch yourself. Watch the widow. Watch the widow. Yeah, yeah. Take a shot. Peek this. Peek this side armor. What's the target? Bardish in the front. He's he's tracked. tracked. Bardish, kill him. Kill this one. I need you to move a little bit, Weevil. Hit the one with the turret. Back up, back up. There you go. Good job, good job. Finish this guy. Hit the right side, Bardish. on the farther right side. Yo, finish this Bardish. Go back, go back. We need your best. Yeah, one Bardiche dead. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, he's tracked. NPCU right side, NPC right side. There you go. Don't mind if we don't. Yeah, we got, we got numbers. Let's check, right? Let's check the far. Some PVE that. Yo, just another enemy tank just died. So we're good, we're good. Oh, you disabled it. Go to the bell. Go to the bell, man. Shoot it in the ass. Yo, are we? Oh, dude, that's, that's ours. That's, that's our storm cannon. Yeah, that, nice, dude. Yeah, nice shots, dude. Nice shots. Garrison's right almost destroyed. Thank you, and you got it out. You can come back to the bell. I have 14 shots left. That was not funny. Nice. Good job. Uh, okay. Yo, Widow. Our right side. We're good. You're good. No, but Widow on the destroyed. Can you take care of the rifle garrisons on the right? 192 Azimuth, 192. Dude, that's a good steal, man. Outlaw, take care of the rifle garrison. Back up, back up. Oh, never mind, 176, 176. They're set there, doing like fucking sports right now. They're just running everything they can. Watch it, LRC, so you can get by AT. Hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. Watch out, watch out. Hit that AT fucker, hit that AT fucker. He's in a bad spot right there. Yeah, watch the infantry left side. Infantry left side. Yep. Do you want to tag this MPT? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. All right. Hold. 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 Stream to help. Yeah. Don't kill the fuel truck. Save the fuel. Oh, good. 
Yo, push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Push, 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 push. Retreating, the retreating that Noble Widow's holding. 138. No! Oh, yeah, yeah. Be strong. Hold, hold strong. Hold strong. Hold strong. They're moving across the bridge. The Noble Widow held on the bridge. They're both at the bridge right now. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all right. Move forward, 11. Yo, he's tracked. Widow's tracked. Widow's hurt. Push him. Kill him. Kill these guys. Yo, there you go. Punish him. There you go. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Yo, we can we can keep pushing through Nugget. Yeah, let's take Nugget. Kill that CV. Yo. Yo, kill that AT pillbox. No, don't let it go down. <laughs> Destroy everything now. Kill them all. There we go. Oh, nice. Don't you don't you, don't you kill that? Don't you kill it? Don't you, kill it. Don't, you do, don't you do it? Don't you do it? I you will kill me before you kill that fuel tank. <laughs> Chicken Nugget Island. Hell yeah, boys. Yo, hey, great freaking push, guys. Last, great job. This seemingly random invasion was so successful, we were actually able to push the Kali's completely out of Alchemio and the Nugget, once again securing it for the Wardens. Riding high off this victory back home, we spent the next few hours moving most of our tanks and support assets down to the Bass to help prepare for the attack on Mercy's Whale, what would be the Royal Spud's first operation to help take a victory point town. But as we arrived, a panicked warning rang out across the regiment. Colonials had spotted our storm cannon base back in Scodio and Godcrofts, and had managed to get a landing ship with multiple tanks and infantry onto our beach for an invasion. We had no time to drive all of our equipment back, and instead we had to redeploy and work with whatever we had nearby. Which, unfortunately for me, was an outlaw with literally no armor left. Armor in Foxhole works in stages, and the higher armor you have, the more chances you have to deflect shots. The dirtier the armor looks, the less armor you have. And my outlaw had no armor, meaning it had zero chances to deflect, and every shot that hit the outlaw would penetrate and do full damage. I was in what we called a naked outlaw, but I had no time to worry about that, and we scrambled our crew and floored it up north. There's basically nothing here beyond our bunker base. Everything else is either half dead, basically not built to repel tanks, or just screwy. Creep, creep, creep forward. Sure. Go back. I see that tank. No, no. We're oh, getting I a good. It. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. He's, he's heads up. We're getting a good response. We got CL. We got Creek. We got a few things. We get it. All gearing up at our bunker base. Back up. So we need to left, to left. That's a chief. That's a chief. Yeah, drive forward. Drive forward. Drive forward. They have a listening kit right ahead of you. Yeah, I'm actually. Back up, okay. keep backing up, keep backing up. These guys push, yeah, keep backing up, keep backing up, keep backing up. Back, 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 back. Oh, great, they, they still There shoot. you go, that's good, that's good. All right, they're moving forward. south, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, they're moving south. Yep, yep. Back up, back up, track one. Track south the chieftain, track the chieftain. Nice. You guys got any ET? Drive up, drive up. I, this isn't our base, dude. This base sucks. <laughs> that's just perfect, this is perfect. Doing perfect, man. Uh, Drive forward northeast. Yeah. Back up. Fight. Back up. Back. Spud guys, just protect that base. Back up, back up, back up. Lots of tanks, lots of tanks. Back up, back up. Drop that here. On this spark. Back up, back. Keep backing up. There's a back tank back, here. Back, 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 back. Yo, great job. You tag him in the. That's perfect, perfect. There's no way that's doing fine, doing over. fine. We need 150. Okay, right? I'm seeing a Bardish, a chieftain that's that's almost damaged. Alright, pushing northeast, pushing northeast. Hold on. Three, three, chieftain, chieftain. 
got this. I, I have, I have Don't worry about, about the chieftain. He can't hurt you guys. Okay. 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 Oh, yes, it is. Oh, kill it. Finish it. Drive yeah, forward. Yeah, NPT, NPT. Hold, hold, hold. Back up, back up, Cozy. Now we're going in, baby. Stop, 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 stop. I'm holding 115 to the truck. Yeah, hold on, hold, hold. Yo, just gas him, gas him. Don't worry about that one. Shoot that dude, shoot that dude, shoot that dude. On our right, infantry, kill. Infantry, push up the beach, please. Push up the beach. Keep backing up. We left this slowly. Yeah, see the whale? Yeah, hold. Yeah, back up, back up, back up, back up, Cozy. Great job, great job. All right, drive forward, drive forward. Yeah, we're shooting into it. Infantry, you guys need to shield us. Push up towards the whale, all right? The whale, the whale, the whale. how are you guys doing down there? We're, we're hitting the whale. No, no, no. Hey, we're gonna run out of It's okay. If we run out of fuel, run out of fuel where we can hit the white whale. We'll go down. Nice job, nice job, dude. It's okay, but hold gas. Enemy our hands. White whale destroyed, white whale destroyed. Push up, push up, push up now. Push up, push up, push up. Everyone kill them all here. That's okay. No, kill these guys. Give me location of this road. Dang. No, I got stickies on my body. Uh, south of Fleece Road. Take push, take push. It's okay, it's okay. They can't do anything else. Somehow, someway, this little naked outlaw managed to draw enough of the enemy tanks south away from the storm cannon base and managed to keep them focused on us long enough for friendlies to push in from the north, allowing all of us to then snowball towards the beach and crush the invasion. It was nerve wracking, but we pulled it off and as we took a minute to breathe and repair our armor, another invasion was spotted down near Fleece Road. But nothing could stop our armored wave as we all turned around and quickly dealt with the second group of goblins. Our endless beaches and cratered land had turned our home into a nightmare to defend, but we were still holding on. All over the map, every other front line had moved on, but we were still the beat up and battered punching bag, stubbornly in the way of any potential colonial offensive. Any small colonial victory in Godcrofts could turn into a huge morale boost that could quickly domino into the whole Eastern Front collapsing, causing a massive shift in the war. And while we did miss out on the operation that would eventually turn Mercy's Whale blue, we knew we had to do the smart thing and protect our region. Over the next few days, the Kali lines would be pushed back even further, and the Royal Spuds would be able to begin operations to encircle Tempest Island, as deep behind our lines, our super weapon had finally finished. One, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, that yeah. was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool. <laughs> That's it for this episode of War 83. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with your thoughts on the war so far. I do want to take a moment to say I apologize for this episode taking absolutely forever to be released. The real world has been a little crazy, but don't you worry, we're going to be having the last few episodes of War 83 here soon, so sit back and enjoy the ride. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. Every storm cannon shell you hit with me Everyone that lands in Asawa is a, is a win for the warden. Man. Oh god, just blow more stuff up. Blow more stuff up. Please do it. I, I it it fuels me.